Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in here on WRNR TV 10 on Comcast. My name is Colin McLaughlin, and right now we are getting ready to start here at the Berkeley County Youth Fair this morning, the dog show on this beautiful Sunday morning. Welcome to the 2021 Berkeley County Fair dog show. We are ready for our first class, class one. Wiggle and Wags year one in this class. Exhibitors will be judged on presentation, including how well their dog is groomed and their dog's ability to heal and sit. 429, Blake Dryden from Wetumpka 4-H Club. Entering the ring at this time is Exhibitor 352, Kira Gillians, Appalachian Clovers, 4-H Club. In division number one, Wiggles and Wags, year one, in first place is going to be Blake and his uh, German Shepherd. In second, we're going to have Kira with her Yorkshire Terrier. Everybody, please give them a round of applause. Next is the class two, Wiggles and Wags, year two. In this class, the exhibitors will be judged on presentation, how well their dog is groomed, and the dog's ability to obey his heel, sit, down, and stay. In the ring currently is exhibitor 201, Ryan Barrett from New Seeker 4-H Club. Entering the ring currently is Mariska Holler, number 371, Tuscarora Indians, 4-H Club.
as we know, the Berkeley County Fair just started. This is the first show of the year, so we are working out some kinks. But uh, um, both your exhibitors today will be receiving a blue ribbon. And in first place, we have uh, Ryan Barrett. And in second, Mariska Holler. First was the Golden Retriever, the focus um, in the work that he's put on his dog, you can tell because he, that dog is 100% eyes on him. Um, and that was very nice to see. Mariska, you have a very, very high energy dog and I think you did very well with, with her today. And I keep up the good work, You've, you got this. Thank you. We're up to class three. That would be Wiggles and Wags year three. Exhibitors will be judged on presentation, how well their dog is groomed, and the dog's ability to obey the commands of heel, sit, down, stay, stand and stay, come and finish. First in the ring is exhibitor 425, Andrew Bean. In the ring currently, Exhibitor 421, Wesley Eggert. Entering the ring is Exhibitor 261, Carly LaPole. Entering the ring is Exhibitor 443, Ian Purdy.
In first place today, I'm going to go with uh, Exhibitor 261, Carly LaPole, and her lab. In second place today, I'm going to go with 425, Andrew Bean. In third place, I'm going to go with, uh, is it 443? Turn around. Yeah, Exhibitor 443. Ian Purdy. And in fourth today, I'm going to go with 421, Wesley Eager. What separates the class today is the, um, the healing and the knowledge. Very good healing, very good sit, uh, down, stay, finish. Um, everybody did fantastic, but today she, she stood out in um, questions as well. I asked everybody the same questions. I got a lot of different answers, to be honest. It was kind of fun to hear. Um, there are four working toes on each foot because the dew claw is not a working toe. So you know. Fun fact, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, guys, and I'll see you again uh, later. The year one wiggles and wags back to the ring for presentation of ribbons. The little one. I love the little dog. I love it. Looks just like mine. If you want to announce the one again, and then you can just hand them. First place for year one was Blake Drayden, and second place was Kira Gillians. All right, the next class up is class four. This is the winners of the Wiggles and Wags, classes one through three. First to the ring is Exhibitor 429, Blake Dryden. Second dinner in the ring is Exhibitor 201, Ryan Barrett. Third dinner of the ring is Carly LaPole, Exhibitor 261. Grand today is number 201, and reserve is 261. Congratulations. Next in the ring is Class 5, Canine Connection Year 1. Exhibitors will be judged on presentation, how well their dog is groomed, and their dog's ability to obey the commands, heal, sit, stay, down, Stay and stand and stay, come and finish. The exhibitor and their dog will also be judged on their gating, stacking, and general knowledge of the breed and the ring presence, as well as poise. Entering the ring is exhibitor 164, Corinne Lewis.
great, great, let him know. First today is Exhibitor 164 receiving a blue ribbon on her project. This is K9 Connection Year One, right? Next is Class Six K9 Connection Year Two. Exhibitors will be judged on presentation, how well the dog is groomed and the dog's ability to obey commands heal, sit, down, stay, stand and stay, come, finish, long sit, and long stay. The exhibitor and their dog will also be judged on their gating, stacking, general knowledge of the breed, and ring presence and poise. In the ring currently is Exhibitor 205, Savannah McDonald. First today, receiving a blue ribbon is Exhibitor 205. First in the ring is Exhibitor 164, Corinne Lewis. Next in the ring is Exhibitor 205, Savannah McDonald. Grand today is Exhibitor 164. In reserve is Exhibitor 205. Congratulations, girls. Uh, 
if the exhibitors for K9 uh, Connection overall could come back to the ring, we need to get some pictures taken. The next class to the ring is class eight, leading the pack year two. In this class, exhibitors will be judged on the same requirements of class six, only off leash. Entering the ring is exhibitor 348, Kylie Weber. and um, receiving a blue ribbon, as well as winning the leading of the pack, we have exhibitor 248, 348. Next is our best of show, class 10. These are your winners from class four, seven, and nine. Entering the ring first is exhibitor 201, Ryan Barrett. Next entering the ring is exhibitor 164, Corinne Lewis. Entering next is Exhibitor 348, Kaylee Weber.
for the reserving class, what we're going to do is bring in the second place for uh, his class. So if you want to step aside. <laughs> I want you to walk around. Everybody did a great job. Please give everybody a round of applause, but reserve is going to be 261. Did you say 261. 261. Congratulations. Carly. What I was looking for there was the quickness in the dog's response. When the owner stops, the dog should stop and sit. And even though she was first in line, when she stopped, she had to ask her dog, which is fantastic because she pulled through for it. Same. She didn't have to ask her dog. That's what I was looking for today. But you guys did awesome. You should be so proud. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So your grand champion best of show is exhibitor 201, Ryan Barrett. And your reserve best of show is Carly LaPole, exhibitor 261. Momentarily, we will be beginning the Class 11 costume class, and after that will be the Class 12 trick class. The next class is Class 11 costume class. Entering the ring is Exhibitor 352, Kira Gillians. No. <laughs> I love the little doggies. No. Next to the ring is Exhibitor 371, Mariska Holler. Next is Exhibitor 205, Savannah McDonald. <laughs> Next in the ring is Exhibitor 164, Corinne Lewis. Everybody has great costumes. I absolutely love the effort that is put into um, everything today. As you know, costume is on my opinion, right? 
Um, I am actually a barrel racer, so in first I'm going to go with 164. The effort that was put in to make the saddle and the leg wraps is adorable. In second place, I'm going to go with number 371. I love the willingness of the dog to wear in, uh, in the cute outfit we have going here. In third, the Puppuccino, because how cute is the Puppuccino? In fourth is number 205, because I love the dress. She needed the dress. I think she needed the dress too, guys. But that, that's my explanation for my costume class. Give them a round of applause, they did great. I'm not sure about you guys, but I own dogs, and if I tried to put a costume on my dog, she'd eat it. So I'm impressed that they even got them on there, to be honest. Yeah. Next up is your class 12, best trick class. First to enter the ring is exhibitor 201, Ryan Barrett. Next in the ring is Exhibitor 261, Carly LaPole. Next in the ring is Exhibitor 443, Ian Purdy. Next to the ring is Exhibitor 205, Savannah McDonald. Next to the ring is Exhibitor 164, Corinne Lewis.
Will everybody walk in the ring for me, please? Okay, again, trick class. I thought they were all adorable. Everybody's put in effort for their tricks with their dogs. Um, today, in first place, I'm gonna go with Ian. In second place is number 201. And in third is 261. I love everybody's tricks, but the willingness that their dogs gave while asking for the trick um, is what I based off of. His dog did not hesitate one bit to go in between his legs and do what he asked. His dog might not have caught the ball, but he returned the ball every time. And when asked if they were eating, he did it. So thank you guys, congratulations. The Berkeley County Youth Fair would like to thank Dog Watch Hidden Fence for providing each dog and their exhibitor with a care package. Their support is greatly appreciated. We would also like to thank Brianna once again for coming out and judging our show uh, for the first fair back. Y'all did a great job. And we'd like everyone who participated in the dog show to please come in for a group picture. One more. One more. All right, one welcome more. back in here to TV 10 on WRNR. This is Colin McLaughlin. Alongside me is the dog show grand champion here at the Berkeley County Youth Fair, Ryan Barrett, and his dog, Toby. First off, congratulations, Ryan. How's it feel to be grand champion here this year? Good. I, um, I actually don't know how to describe this. Uh, I got second last year, and this year... Um, is totally different because last year was virtual. So this year was completely different. I just, I knew a little bit of what I was doing, but they told me mostly what I was doing. And I just, I practiced with Toby for every day, like for at least 30 minutes and all that practice paid off. So I see you here, Toby, all over you. Love him a lot. I see that you're petting him as well. How long have you or family had Toby and What's it like having a best friend like Toby for you? Um, we've had him since he was a pup, so probably like six, eight weeks, something like that. And he's been in our life for almost three years now. He'll be three in November. And, um, yeah, he's a big part of our family. He goes everywhere we go. And I don't know how I can live without him. So tell us a little bit about yourself as well, Ryan. What else are you doing here at the youth fair throughout the week, if anything? Um, yeah, so I have a pig down at the swine barn, and I'm showing a rabbit. And previously, my rabbit, my other rabbit, has won the best in show three years in a row. So he's a big deal. But he recently passed away, but I have his daughter, so hopefully she can win us one one more before we because I think this is going to be my last year with rabbits. Okay. So. You mentioned a little while ago just having the virtual youth fair last year. What's it like finally being back in person this year? It's weird because my sister is the rabbit queen and on the way here she was talking to me about like all the questions that they ask us as rabbit people and I was clueless. I haven't done anything like that in a year and I haven't really bothered about it so it's it's weird getting back into the swing of things like I've, when I was here the first day like the nostalgia finally hit me and I was like wow this is this is what life used to be and I hope it stays that way for the rest of the week and for the rest of the year and life so for the actual dog show itself what were the things that you were 
judge based off of with your dog and what you had to train Toby to do? So when I was throwing the ball, I was supposed to have a lacrosse stick because I play lacrosse, and that's Toby's, like, he loves that sport just in general. But I will throw the ball. I can throw for hours. He'll just chase it and bring it back, and he'll put it in my stick, but it's in my stick. So um, we just kind of – he didn't really catch the ball, but he brought it back. I mean, that's the retriever in him. Um, but for the actual obedience of it, we did heel, so that's when he was by my side. And then whenever I stopped and he sat, that was a halt. And that is – it took a while to, for him to pick up and learn. But, um, and then sit, obviously, down and calm, all of the basic things. All right, thank you so much, Ryan and Toby. We'll wrap things up here for this interview and get ready for another one here at the Berkeley County Youth Fair. Now we have reserve champion Carly LaPole and her dog Charlie here on TV10. This is Colin McLaughlin. First off, congratulations. Thank Carly, how does it feel to be the reserve champion. Very exciting. Very proud of Charlie today. Was this your guys' uh, first year? How long have you been doing the dog show here at the Youth Fair? This is our third year. Doing third year? It. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's it like just having your dog Charlie? How long have you guys had him? And tell us about yourself as well. Um, he's six years old, um, so we've had him it was just a couple months when we got him. Um, we used to have a black lab, so we're a big lab family, but it, he's just really fun to be around. has a very friendly personality. So. Okay, so during the show itself, what were some of the things that you had to do with Charlie going through the entire event? We had to have him heal and stay close, and we had to have him um, sit down, come, stay, and finish. How is it training the dog when it comes to that stuff? Is it typically easy or it, for you it, and Charlie? or It depends. He's very food-driven, um, and so... It took a lot of treats to convince him to do some of these tricks. He used to be a service dog, actually, and so we trained him for a while, for two years doing that. So that was helpful. He knew a lot of tricks from his training. But, yeah, it takes a lot of tricks to convince him. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. What else do you have going on for you throughout the rest of the week here at the Youth Fair? I'm also showing my chickens. Um, we have Bard Plymouth Rock, and that shows on Wednesday. What is that like walk me through it just to preview it for sure. our viewers as well um so at 10 o'clock on wednesday the judge will come and just judge the birds in the cage um how well you've cleaned their cage how well you've cleaned your birds how if they look healthy um and then at one o'clock that afternoon we'll actually go and show the birds and the judge will ask us questions they'll observe how we're handling the bird um, things like that so this year, finally being back in person compared to last year with the virtual youth fair, what's it like being back and seeing everybody again face-to-face? -face? It's been so exciting. It's only day two, and it's just been a blast. Everybody's smiling. Everybody's happy to be here, and I'm really, really grateful we get to have it this year. What's your favorite part of the youth fair itself? I have two. I okay. can't pick one. The butterfly potatoes by far are the best food here. And just seeing all the animals and all the hard work that every exhibitor's put into their animal. All right. Thank you so much, Carly. Again, congratulations to you and Charlie being the reserved champion. That'll wrap thank things you. up here for this interview. This is the Berkeley County Youth Fair Dog Show.